we're going for a walk, how exciting. I live on the top floor of my building, so it's quite a walk down the stairs and out the door. Today we're gonna to go to the TAFE, the TAFE where I'm starting my course on the 16th, and today I'm testing how long the walk is. At this point I realized I should probably have gotten my phone out and realized what time it was so I could actually manage how long this trip is. So let's check. It's currently 1.49, so hopefully this walk will take me about 20 minutes, but we'll find out when I get there, I guess. I've had an interesting morning, because just today, this girl, who I would call a friend, but she's not really a friend anymore, finally gave me back the shirt that I lent her towards the end of last year, and have been bugging her at least once a month ever since to try and get it back from her. And she's one of those people who I really just don't get in terms of where her priorities are at because one of the main things with me is that when I'm dealing with other people I have to make sure that I'm considering how I'm treating them and how they're going to see me for how I'm treating them so I look at someone who has skewed priorities and go where the hell is your head at because it, if I was borrowing something from somebody else my first priority above anything else like not work or study or anything that's actually essential to my livelihood but beyond any other social thing getting something back to someone that I have said that I will get back to them as soon as possible becomes first priority. So I'm a little confused by people who don't have that same sort of idea of priorities that they would look at something like returning a shirt as something like well it's just a shirt she can live without it but it's not about the shirt it's about the fact that I obviously want the shirt back. It's my shirt. I lent it to them out of the good of my heart and they're putting it as their last priority to get it back to me. It kind of seems like a bitchy thing to do, really. So yeah, now she's not my friend anymore. And I would have sworn that she was more reliable than this, but yeah, even my boyfriend says she's always been like that. So I must have just been blinded, who knows. This is a little bit of my walk. It looks a lot more pushy just here, but it's actually one of the main roads through town. This is my street, and way up there is the hospital. Kind of a convenient place to live, really. Yeah, some tennis courts. And some cyclists. Hello! I think they thought I was a bit weird. Uh, probably because I am. This is the rec centre. Basically looks like a field, but I'm sure there's something more to it than that. I wouldn't know, I never go there. London's a really pretty place to live. Especially when you're used to living in holes. Beautiful houses, lovely nature everywhere. God, a city slicker would puke. I like it. By the way, I haven't actually told you this yet, but in case you haven't guessed it, no, this isn't my webcam. It's not attached to my computer by a really long USB cable. This is my new camera. Oh my gosh. I might show you it in a mirror later. It's pretty cute. Just a little Sony Handycam. And it's really small and fits in my hand. It's really nice. It's not any top of the line stuff, but I bought it from a friend and I'm really happy that she was able to get rid of it to me. And she's really happy that I got it, and I'm happy with it, so yay! New things! <laughs> so, yeah. So now I can actually get out and make videos as I'm walking and trying to get fit with my whole weight loss thing I was telling you about. Anyways, onward with the walking. Currently crossing Gibbs Street. Gibbs Street! It's the hip street. Can't believe I just said that. Just up ahead past this car is some police officers. How exciting. I have no idea what they were doing. I'm looking at someone's car, but there wasn't a cop car there. Maybe they were undercover. But they were in uniform. I don't know. The mysteries of the Wollongong police force. Who knows what they do. Oh my god, it's the sand for the uni and the tape. Oh my god, that's where we're going. Oh my god. 
how exciting. We're totally going to the TAFE. And we're going to go up the bridge up there and go over the highway with all the cars. I'll probably do a break scene to that right now. Oh my god, look at the car! There's so many! Not really. That's a sign. Oh my god, we're back at the cars! Oh my god, look at them all! Hey look, we're almost at the TAFE. That's the TAFE right there. How exciting! So because I need to ask questions about my course, I'm going to go into the TAFE. But I figure, you know, since these people don't know me, I probably won't film while I'm in there. So I'll see you when I come out the other side. Wahoo! Awesome sauce! Alright, so it turns out that all the information I needed was all the information I already had. So, didn't really do much there, except for the fact that they asked me if I had a student card, which I didn't. So they made me a student card. So they took my photograph and put on a card, and now I have an extra card in my wallet. So, yay! Again, new things! Huh, just a time of excitement lately. So, now we start the walk home. And I don't think I'll film much this time, but I am stopping briefly to get some hot chips. So that would be nice. And I might make a video while I'm there waiting. So, see you soon. Okay, so I know I said I wouldn't be filming again until after um, I got to the chip shop. But I just saw the guy who I'm guessing owns the vehicle that the cops were looking through earlier. Because he was staying next to it. The door wouldn't shut properly. They jimmied it open somehow or something. Like that. I don't know what went on. But he was like slamming the door shut then wrenching it open and swearing and then like pulling at it and then trying to slam it shut again. I don't know what went on. He was freaking angry. Oh well. <laughs> Not my problem. So now I'm at the chip shop and waiting on my chips. Getting a lot of chips. Family sized chip bag. And I'm also getting some bread rolls. So we have a barbecue chicken at home so we can have chicken and chips and rolls. It's freaking delicious with like some glass of coke and oh. I'm looking forward to this lunch. This will be nice lunch. I'm liking this lunch already. Of course, I'm thinking about it. It's not exactly the best lunch for someone who's trying to lose weight. <laughs> Which is probably what you're thinking. We might have been because I'm doing this whole exercise thing and then having chicken and chips and bread rolls with coke. Kind of the reason I got this way in the first place, but it's going to be a long road for me to fix myself. I've had bad diet for a long time. We'll see how we go. This is my new tape card, my new tape picture. It's really squished in at the sides. It looks like I've just been kind of grabbed and stretched upwards. It doesn't even make me look skinny, it just makes me look stretched. Oh well. I'm almost finished spending all of my birthday money. I ask most people for money for my birthday because I'm poor. And I ended up getting like $450 in cash from people and that was really nice. Like it's just like awesome money. And then I bought this camera and then I bought like some clothes and some books and various other things. And then I'm almost out of money now. I've got the last bit of cash and I'm spending most of it on these lunch. So, oh well. So I got my hot chips and now I'm headed home. But I'm not going to do much filming on the way home because the sun is behind me and you can't really see me all that well, so I'll make a video when I get home. Bye! So here I am back in my apartment building again. So now I'm going to go all the way upstairs to the top floor, have my delicious lunch with my gorgeous boyfriend, then I'll edit this video and then I'll post this video so that you guys can enjoy it. But for now, bye!